Did you see uh, Carl Fox little rant on Jake Paul and uh, Ariane? Yeah. Ariane? I, I mean, on Saturday, on Saturday, yeah. he just messaged me actually asking for some tickets. So um, I've got good prices for him. They're uh, three fifty, four hundred, and uh, <laughs> he's always welcome at our shows. And I think that um, the one thing I'll say is I do think, like obviously, I think Carl Fox beats Jake Paul. But I will say that when you've been out of the ring for a long time. I don't think it's just as easy as just putting the gloves on and going back and having the same rhythm and timing. You don't think he can knock him out of the round then? No, but I think he beats him. But, but Jake Paul's a strong boy. And he has been training for, what, three years now in boxing? He's, I, I think he's improved a lot. I still don't think he's anywhere near world level, never will be. But I don't think it's easy for these guys like Carl and Tony <laughs> just to go back in and be the same fighter that they were five or six years ago, you know? We'd love to see it though, Of course, we? yeah, so would I. Do you think that uh, there were more people at the Jake Paul Tyson Fury fight or Carl Fox v. the Groves fight? It was Wimbledon? definitely Carl Fox against... Uh, 80,000. It was close. 80, I think it was about 10,000. Was it 80,000 or 90,000? 80. 80,000, 80, 80, 80, yeah. It was 80,000, and then when we did Klitschko, that was 90. 90, And he yeah. weren't very happy about that. And then yeah. when we did uh, Dubois, that was closer to 100, so... Yeah. Carl I don't know the record anymore, but he holds the memories. 13th final round, hit the bottom, man. Subscribe down here or up there.